I would like to quickly say that I'm not an electrician, and so this video is not a how-to. It is only for entertainment. The reason that I'm putting this on YouTube is because I have, n I have not seen any electricians put this video up. All of the videos that I've seen on thermostat hookup really don't make it clear where the conductors have to go. I'm gonna to try to move along quick. This is a cadet thermostat for electric heat. It is a four wire and my hookup will be for 240 volts. Here's the thermostat. And we've got the four wires. Here's my box. I will now take a tick tracer and I will uh, identify which cable is the home run or the line cable. It'll be the one that's on and runs to the power panel. That's my line cable. It is on. That's my load cable. It is not powered because it goes to my heaters. I will now turn off the breaker. Please keep in mind this is a GE panel and thin breakers are accepted at the bottom. And so these are thins, but they are, or this is a two pole breaker, the back bedroom electric baseboard. And I've turned that off. I will now make sure that the power is off. All right. In case you didn't know, the grounds just get uh, connected together. Taking a look at this thermostat, we can see that the line conductors are red, and we can see that the load conductors are black. And so it's very simple. The red line conductors go on these line conductors. The black load cables go on these load cables. All right, I'm trying to stay out of the camera's way here. Oh, why well, lie? It's my phone. Anyway, I like to put the uh, the Wago lever nuts on because you can open them up like this, and then I'll just slide that on, and I will put. This other one on the white, doesn't matter. They're both hots, just out of phase. Electricians will tell you that's wrong, but close enough for now. Okay, now it's time for the line cables, remembering that these are red. And I will open that up. This one's going to need a little bit of encouragement, but there she goes. Same over here, open her up. And I will now do a pull test on all these. All right, very good. It actually looks like uh, I did that upside down, doesn't really matter, but if you're particular, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to just unclip these. Love that, how it's so quick. 
and move them around so that they aren't twisted up in any way. Yep, that ought to do it. Okay. Okay. Anyway, as the next thing to consider is that you can actually calibrate these um, cadet thermostats and you're going to turn it around and you'll notice a screw very small but it's right here well, what's happening is if you take a look at that screw again it's right here and the dial is riding on that screw So if you wanted to calibrate the thermostat from here, I suppose you would have to, uh, this is not advice of course, but I've done it, allegedly. I suppose what you would do is leave it hanging out of the wall and you would see how close your calibration is. And let me look up which direction is which. My observation was um, the counterclockwise adjustment makes the thermostat read lower. Clockwise makes the thermostat read higher. From there, I can use these screws and install this thermostat in the box. After it's in, I can restore power and that is the correct hookup. However, I'm not going to be doing that because it's time for me to remove this thermostat and now I'm going to make the same video with a Honeywell. I will be installing this Honeywell four wire thermostat for electric heat. Taking a look at this thermostat, there are two conductors at the top, this red one and this black one labeled L2 and L1 with a squiggly sine wave looking thing. Those are for your line cable. You'll also notice here that there's two conductors at the bottom with a square looking sine wave, T2 and T1. And those go to your load cable. So I'll start up top with my line. And these are big, but a 10 gauge Wago will be coerced and it'll barely fit. Right on there. Same thing with this black one. Just like that. And I will put these on my line cable, my home run to the power panel. It doesn't really matter which one goes on which. This white conductor is marked as a hot, but I think most folks will probably put it of the red conductor to the white and the black to the black. Okay. I will now connect my bottom load cables or load conductors to these load conductors on the load cable. Once again, I will put a 10 gauge Wago on each and I will put the black conductor on black. I will put the red conductor on white. And that's hooked up. From there, it's simply time to uh, 
take these screws and mount it to the box. Taking a look at this other uh, extra thermostat that I have, the dial is riding on a tab. And there's really no way to adjust that. The moral of the story is the cadet thermostat is probably the better thermostat, especially if you want to calibrate it. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you found that valuable in some way, please be sure to hit the like button. That'll help me out within the YouTube algorithm. It'll show my video to others. And lastly, please be sure to consider hitting the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos from me. Thanks.